नमस्कार माय न्यू पोएट्री कलेक्शन सेलेक्टेड पोएम्स ऑफ नंदनी साहू हैज बीन रिसेंटली पब्लिश्ड बाय सिनोरिना पब्लिकेशंस न्यू दिल्ली आई मस्ट कंग्रेचुलेट सिनोरिना पब्लिकेशंस फॉर टेकिंग आउट सच बुक्स वंडरफुल बुक्स विद इन द फर्स्ट ईयर ऑफ द लॉन्च ऑफ द पब्लिकेशन मे आई से that this poetry collection is kind of lifetime achievement for me because here i have taken poems selected poems from all my previous poetry collections like the other voice the silence silver poems on my lips sukuma and other poems sita a poem zero point and the upcoming poetry collection girl and also quite a few new poems so the collection comes to almost 575 pages and sinorina publication has taken this task this assignment of taking out this collection beautifully i must thank the young publishers once again the poetry collection is very close to my heart because the good poems the nice poems from all my previous poetry collections have been taken as well as the introduction of the book has been written by one of my most favorite poets professor anand prakash and the blur has been written by eminent poets like poet jayant mahapatra poet bibhu pari and one of the most eminent scholars professor anishur rehman and during the com- and also in the comments section very important poets my fellow poets from indian poetry scenario they have written comments about my poetry from the core of their heart i am extremely grateful to all of them before coming to read a couple of poems from this poetry collection selected poems of nandini sahu please allow me to read a few comments written by the eminent poets critics my fellow poets who have deeply understood the spirit of my poetry and they have been kind enough to write a few comments about my poetry professor anand prakash one of my most favorite poets scholars critics in contemporary indian literary scenario he has taken the pain of writing a long critical introduction to the book reading that introduction i did count my blessings sir i am so grateful to you for reading my poems in fact hundreds of them and writing the research article that i call introduction i quote a couple of lines from professor anand prakash he writes for sahu the cultural connect is strong she has a fire that keeps the poetry in her going it also carries the unmistakable color of emotion to the viewer but does she have a tangible viewer in mind a somebody who would spot the urge for making sense one doesn't know sahu is engrossed in the domain of tough issues that cannot be easily cracked the good part is she dares yes i do dare to write poetry from the core of my heart i dare to write truth next professor anishur rahman a poet who wears many hats he writes the blurb in such lines i am quoting him here is a poet who can explore a balance amongst the manifestations of nature a poet who can locate herself in the larger designs of existence and evolve a metaphoric scheme to express the same she is preoccupied with the being and becoming of woman her body politics and the politics of her existence in a larger context the play and interplay of elemental powers engage her incessantly as she negotiates with them in the major part of her poetry for her writing poetry is undertaking a voice a voice 
that cajoles and finally delivers her in good stead. Here is a kind of poet who tries to identify the complex matrix of survival. A poetry that also discovers spaces within and beyond the confines of the self. This poetry helps her grow individually and affords space to her readers to grow on her own. Thank you, sir, for writing such a wonderful blurb. I discussed this poetry collection with Sanjukta Di, Professor Sanjukta Dasgupta, an eminent poet, and then she took the pain of reading my long poetry collection Sita, and then she writes, in solidarity and sisterhood, Professor Sanjukta Dasgupta has written, when poet Nandini Sahu's extraordinary long narrative poem Sita reached me, my own book of poems, Sita's Sisters, had been published. Nandini Sahu's poetry validates the fact that we are all Sita's sisters and sisters in arms. Writing poetry is our activism. Absolutely, it's our activism, Professor Sanjukta. Now, poetry Lakshmi Kannan eminent poet with whom I am rather awe-inspired. She had the kindness to go through most of my poems and then she writes about one of the poems, The Song of Liberty, a long poem which is one of my signature poems. She writes, under this song there can be signatures of countless other women who live within a violent relationship that society thinks as sanctified by marriage. However, the protagonist, who is projected as a victim in this poem, maintains a clear head and is free of the sentimentality we come to see in women who tend to find excuses for violence because the man is a husband. She has understood, she has taken the issue, women's issues in this poem and she has written so much about the body politics that I have discussed in that poem. Thank you, ma'am, once again. And then Anamika Di, Professor Anamika, eminent bilingual poet who doesn't know her. Everyone knows her. She has been kind enough to write such beautiful lines about my poetry and I feel so blessed. Nandini's Sita is a soft knock at a door left ajar. This door, the door of cultural memory, leads us to a great citadel. With one soft knock, it opens wide and almost bewitched. We walk in half-lit corridors full of mirrors and thick with reverberations. Her treatment of Sita, distinctly different from that of Sri Radha by Ramakadrat, is epical in dimension and lyrical in subjective inquiries, existential angst and meditative inner flux. Reminiscent of the pre-linguistic aspects of speech, its textual subconscious is replete with the kind of ripples and echoes which feminist psycholinguists like Irigari, Sixo, Kristeva and others frequently talk about in their famous treatises of women's language. Ma'am, you have compared the women's language of all these eminent critics with my poetry, see, my long poetry collection, Sita and the language thereof. I feel really blessed. Thank you so much. And then uh, from Odisha, from home, poet Bibupadi, eminent poet Bhubupari, he writes, it's interesting to read Nandini Sao's poems, emotionally direct. They show the many ways in which poetry can be a vehicle of experiences that are individual, societal and cultural. Emotionally direct and honestly, they explore the truth of things, relationships and experiences. They are a good read. Thank you, Professor Vibhupari. And what else can a poet ask for when Padmashri, most eminent poet, Jayanta Mahapatra, writes a couple of lines about their poetry such in such lines? She makes 
the best of her efforts in her poetry what i am attracted in sahu's poetry is the estimate of the world view the beauty of nature the truth the honesty and the ability to connect to the readers through her poems her poetic lines and he has quoted extensively from my poetry collection sukama and other poems perhaps sukama touched him and he could connect to the tribal subaltern woman sukama and he has appreciated my poems in very beautiful lines sir thank you so much for reading my poems and writing comments i will conclude with a very short poem uh, from this collection select selected poems of nandini sahu uh, the first poem is titled poetry it's a very short poem and it's about the poetic process how i write poetry while words dance on my pen stung i feel language is a flooded river not to be discarded not to be damned poetry flows from the hedges of the mind breaking the parapets there are many such poems which talk about the poetic process of a poet there are so many haiku poems a lot of poems that deal with mythology and folklore i am closely connected with myth and folklore one complete poem sita and one complete poem karn both these collections are associated with mythology the mythological characters and also a lot of poems talk about the contemporary scenario the world the political scenario of our society then social issues subaltern issues my love for nature and my love for humanity may i conclude by saying that if you read this poetry collection selected poems of nandini sahu all you would feel in your heart of heart from me to my readers is love my poems think and talk about love for humanity love for the world thank you very much thank you sinorina publications once again for giving me this opportunity uh, for publishing uh, this uh, large this long poetry collection indeed and i am also so grateful to my readers my critics and my fellow poets from sinorina publications who have always accepted me with open arms thank you once again namaskar